Anybody got an arc? <laughs> Hey garden maters, welcome to Corner Homestead. So I am busy in the kitchen today. Um, it's been nothing but rain, 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 rain. I think we have one day free of rain in the past week. It's just been crazy. So I'm using today to catch up on some things that needed to be done. Actually been working on it for a few days, but and the main thing is the dehydrator. I've got the dehydrator out because I've been alternating. I've been dehydrating eggs and powdering them. And I've also been dehydrating potato slices. I go through so many of them. So right now it's a break from the dehydrator. I still have more potato slices to do, but I did finish my eggs. So if it's noisy in here and if you can hear the the stove I have to apologize because the other thing I'm doing today is I'm making my dandelion honey and that is why I'm here okay so as I said I am making my dandelion honey it's been a couple years since I've done this I have one little dinky jar left which is one of these little half pint jars so it's definitely time to make more so for the past few weeks I have been picking every dandelion that I see. I'm bringing them in, and the ones I'm using for the honey, of course you wanna wash them very well in a sink of water with a few splashes of vinegar. But, also I am picking dandelions to prepare now to do a dandelion salve. So that is gonna be coming up on a video in about a month or so going to take time to infuse the oil. So if you're interested in making dandelion salve with me when I go to do it, can't be any simpler. Just can't be simpler. So if you want to prepare, just go out and pick the dandelions as you see them. Oh good lord, it's raining again and thundering. Anybody got an arc? <coughs> Me and my chickens are ready to come aboard. So you just pick the dandelions. If you want to make the honey, make sure you clean them, use them right away for the honey. If you wanna know how to make dandelion honey, I will have all of the videos linked below at the end of this video. Please go and watch them and I'll show you how to make the honey. I'll also show you how to do the dehydrated potatoes and how to dehydrate the eggs. But don't go there yet because I want to tell you a little bit more about the dandelions. So if you want to save your dandelions to make the salve, you just pick them and all you're going to do is throw them in a basket or in something that you just have that they can sit around and dry on their own. It's only going to take a couple days. These were picked yesterday and you can see they're already shriveled up. They were nice and big. Already shriveled up. Another couple days they'll be completely dry. Now to use these for the salve, you don't want the green part of the dandelion. So once they dry, you want to pick out, boy, it's lightning. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> out. You want to separate them. You want to pick the petals from the little green stem. Once you have the petals all picked, just put them into a jar, whatever you're going to infuse your oil in. And you can see there are no green in there. It's all strict petals. Now, when you have enough, and believe me, it's going to take a while, you want three parts petals to one part carrier oil. 
Your oil is going to be either sunflower, sweet almond oil, olive oil, whatever you choose to use, that is the oil. One part oil, three part petals. Good gravy. It is pouring out there. Once you have the oil and all your petals in the jar, you're just going to put this in a cool, dark place and you're going to leave it there anywhere from four weeks to four months. Yes, you can leave this sit longer. So once I get it done, I'll leave mine for maybe about five or six weeks and then I'll do my salve and I'll be back to do the salve with you in about six to eight weeks. So dandelion salve, what is it good for? It's good for mainly it's a moisturizer. Works for dry chapped lips, very dry skin. That would be me. <laughs> Might have to make a few gallons of that stuff. So yes, very, very good moisturizer in dandelion salve. So if you didn't already know all the great benefits of dandelions, now you do. And if you want to get out there and start picking, I suggest you do it because they're not going to be around long, as you know. As for my yard, the time is pretty much up because I've picked it clean for some, for so long. I'm actually going to go to a field that I know has a lot of dandelions and I'm going to be picking a lot of them from there. And it's a field that I know is a good field. It doesn't get a lot, any, hardly any traffic. One thing you want with your dandelions, make sure that they're not peed on. You don't want them pee peed on. <laughs> so, baby chickens. As you saw in my last video, I got baby chickens. I have given them names. I have, they all look so much alike. There is one chicken that was just a little tiny bit different, but the three that look alike, when I first got them, those three chickens they're bigger now and I'll show you in a few minutes but they're bigger these three chickens I named Nugget Nibble and Noel can't tell them apart anyway but now I'm starting to just a little bit so this little chicken right here she has a little black spot right in the center of her back right between her wings kind of put me in mind I hate to say it of a blowhole <laughs> <laughs> what can I say it's the way my mind works <laughs> so I didn't want to name her orca or anything like that so I got to thinking okay there are a lot of mammals with blowholes <laughs> so I went more with the dolphin root I was gonna name her Clemony Clemony is the name of the dolphins that ride the bowels of the ships when they're going into the water, sailing through the water. They're up there riding the waves of the bowels of the ships. But I thought, no, I don't like Clemony. Sounds like Chlamydia. <clears throat> so I went on another route. I ended up naming her Winter. Winter was the name of the dolphin that was in Dolphin, the movie Dolphin Tale. So there you have the story of my chickens. Let's go meet them. Here's Nugget. Isn't she getting big? Look at all the feathers coming in. How I know this is Nugget? She has a neat tiny brown spot on her head. This is Winter. She has the darkest face. She's the loudest too. Let me tell you, she's the loudest. She still has that little black spot. Her blue hole is the winter. Winter blue hole. This is Noel. How do I know this one's Noel? Well, she's always had a poopy butt. Ever since I've gotten her, these four chickens, she has had diarrhea. I don't know why. So I'm hoping she's not sick. So, I gotta clean her up again. <laughs> Pretty girl. And this one's Nibble. She has no markings on her whatsoever. That's how I just know it's Nibble. <coughs> Pardon the mess. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm making the honey. Gonna finish doing my potatoes now that I have my eggs finished. And like I say, if you wanna see how I do all that, just 
click on the video at the bottom. It's going to take you there for you to see. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Love to have you as part of the community. Love to watch the Garden Majors grow. So until next time, I love y'all. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video.